you thought you was in your bag. No, nah, I'm saying like I'll do that in the shower by myself. I don't need help with none of that. But anywho, uh, yeah. impressive. Improve, not impress. And in so, doing so, three <laughs> 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 FA on a Wednesday, man. Episode number twenty-eight. Music makes you lose control. Music makes you lose control. Something lighthearted we want to get into, man. Just talking about music because if you like me, I mean music. I need it. I need all of that. So I am joined by, you know, the regulars. I'm your moderator, PK. Um, I got Cornelius the Compass McCall. He can show you how. And my young brother, my guy, Mr. Joyful Elf himself, P. Alexander Wally is in the building. And gentlemen, man, how y'all doing? Everything good? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Y'all want to talk about music? We can get into it because y'all put on a mini concert, sending clips and stuff all in the um, digging in the oh, crate. Oh man, that'd be borderline rap beef. So you know, borderline beef. I know First Wally got he, he he has a phone that is just strictly full of his own music and a bunch of music. And um, Compass got something new for us every time he jumps on in the car on that two hour trek that's about to almost be no more. You know, so. Uh, so almost music, there. man, talk. Just, just almost talk there, baby. Almost there, Almost man. there. Man. So, you know, talk to me about it, though, fellas, like music. I think I've asked y'all on Hot Seat a couple of episodes, like, you know, could you, would you rather have music or something like three songs for the rest of your life or three movies? Would you rather have music over TV and all that kind of stuff? So, I mean, before we get into our tier list and just talking about all this kind of stuff, thanks, everybody, for jumping on with us, tuning in, listening, watching, however you are kicking it with us. So, like, what's music to you, man? What's the role it, like, plays in your life? Is it that important? Could you do without it? I mean, what's up? Who's who's going first, the Crips, the Bloods, or the Neutrals? (laughs) I didn't realize realize that, man. I'm just asking. We're going to let the neutral go. <laughs> it looked like, like he don't bang. It looked like he don't bang with us. So let the neutral go first. Yeah. They my partners. Go, go first, Bompus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Music, man. I, I need it, man. I need it. You know, uh, I know with my, my personal channel, my favorite parts is, was the beatboxing, you know what I mean? Or singing and then, you know, putting a little, uh, uh, the little voice joint on there, you know, that's my favorite part is the um, didn't realize that YouTube had so many strict copyright policies. <laughs> Learning the hard way. Man, my first like 10, 15 videos, man. They all kicked back. Copy. They all got kicked back. Mm-hmm. All got copyright claim from. But sis, sis tried to tell him, Janet tried to tell him though. Try, try, she tried to, you know, and I was like, man, I think I could work it. I think I could, man, from, you know, 30 seconds to a minute 15, this is copywritten by. Maybach music, you know, or or something crazy, <laughs> man. You know, so it's MMG, baby. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, I need, I need, you know, my family, uh, you know, my wife, Sands, my oldest, Elijah, you can carry it. That's, that's what I was Little. about to say. You basically, you're going to need me, you're going to need me and Dana to come through and just save the whole. Drop an LP. Okay. Drop an LP. You okay. know, and uh, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's part of our, you know, our daily. That's what it is to me. I'd rather have music than a movie. Yes, I told you. So and she, he said, wow, Wally. So we got to get Dana singing on the hooks. And then we got Ja Rule come in and give us a little something. Oh, whoa, <laughs> well, not Ja Rule, but you know what I'm saying? The hip hop, you know, and the, the R&B type joint or whatever. So, uh, young fella, you since you are a musician and everything, um, I guess I I'll mean. go, man. Music music means a lot to me and we let you bring up the rear since you know you you are that guy you, you writing and mixing and mastering all that kind of stuff but man i i can do music there's sometimes when me and jen won't even we won't even cut the uh, tv on we'll just throw something on alexa her playlist it might be a yoga playlist playing you know hip-hop r&b whatever it'll just play and music man it it goes through a range of emotions so everybody know what music is you know beats and patterns rhythmic and all that kind of stuff so it can take you through a, a range of emotions because i can hear songs where I was happy, you know, it puts me in a place. And then there's some songs I can hear that like stuff that my pops used to listen to or whatever, still a feel good type song, but it puts me in a place and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, I, I gotta, I'll listen to it 
on the way in, now I'm listening to our podcast more so often, but I mean, I listen to it on the way into work, just sitting around the house and all that kind of stuff. And I just love it, man. It can calm you, you know what I'm saying? Get you hyped for basketball games, football, whatever you got going on, man. So it's, it's crucial. I absolutely take uh, music over TV, any movies on a deserted island. I just got my uh, iPod and I'd be okay. So, I mean, that's, that. yeah. Makes you lose control, man. Episode 20, nice. I told y'all. So, Wally, it, it obviously means a lot to you, sir, since like you, you're a writer, got tracks you've laid down and all that kind of stuff and, and has it helped you through a situation, put you in a situation or like, what is it? Oh. You're old soul too. Some of that stuff you be digging out the crates. I'm like, bro, you wasn't even. Man, I can't. Like, in the that's, eye. Just, that's just, I don't know. I was, it, it's always been like that. But I think the the funniest thing for me is just, like you said, I'm chasing the feeling of like that's coming from how how you receive the melody. So it could be as subtle as a bongo that's getting some bongos or something that's getting hit in the background, or you might throw in a saxophone or something crazy like that. Like not to foreshadow too much into the rest of the episode, but I hate I hate the title of the song. But it's one of my favorite songs, probably top five, top ten. But it's Marvin Gaye, If I Should Die Tonight. If you listen to it, yeah, the lyrics is on point. Everything is cool. But it's a homie in the background that's hitting the bongos on that joint. Then you got the subtle bridges where you got the saxophone that comes in. And it just kind of, like, I can't really, I don't know the word I'm looking for right now, which is crazy because I, I can usually just put it together real quick. But it's a feeling that I get from that. That's like, yeah, I can't get that in no other song. Mm-hmm. And it just puts you in, it puts you in one of those spaces that's, I don't want to say euphoric. Yeah, man, it feel good. Yeah, you, euphoric, yeah. Yeah. all that. So, yeah. Yeah. It's like, like a high almost, man. It's just, yeah. 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 Oh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So we got the pleasantries out of the way and everything. So where do y'all want to start? I mean, we Man, ran down the list. We just, yeah, I want to go with bangers, just straight bangers off the, like every playlist I make is almost going to have these on it. I mean, I drop everything, you know, if I go karaoke, you know, and, and I put, they put this on, I'm kicking everybody off the stage, just a banger in your eyes. You know what I mean? That's where y'all want to start. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you want to go somewhere else first. <laughs> nah, we can start there. Who going first? I got one, but who, who going first? I'll uh, just go I ahead, Wally. It. Yeah, I'll just go ahead, man. You gonna you gonna run them down or one by one? Uh, you got, you how just, many you got? You just said. I mean, I got three, but I'll I'll do one so y'all could at least throw one in there. No, nah, run run all three of them down. Let me see if I know them. Then we can talk about it right quick. All right, so all time. It's not it's so really, much. It's not really. <laughs> it's so bad. Bad. It's not. It's, a it's your banger, though. It's, it's your banger. That that I'm that I'm a zone out whenever it comes on. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do three, and yeah. it's just I'm just I'm just pulling three. Give me, give me pop. Staring at the world through my rear view. I'll put the Marvin Gaye. If I should die tonight in there, as number two. Number three. I'll go snowman, hustler's ambition. Okay. From That's re- from recession. Recession, man. And, it, and it's not, and I, it's so many other ones that, like, now if you was to ask me if I'm about to go who, what three songs I'm going to listen to, those three are nowhere on there. Right. Or if I pull up somewhere, what do I want to pull up and have blasting for people to listen to when I get out or pull up? Like, it's it's different from each aspect of how we're going to be able to attack it. So Yeah. But them right there just going to make you lose control type joints. Yeah, like I don't care where I'm at. You're going, you're just, going stupid in there. But one thing from the Summertime Vibe, out, um, and then I was like, man, it would be so much more interactive if you could play some of these tracks and stuff like that, but we'll get flagged, you know what I mean? Right. So you know, people scribble them down. Most of us probably already heard them, you know, scribble them down and got to play them because we ain't trying to get it taken down before we can even get it up on your streaming platform and stuff like that. So, um, but one thing that was interesting when we did Summertime Vibes, y'all was talking about 
y'all had a set of songs that y'all only listened to during the summertime. And I was like, well, really? Like you you really just listen to a, a certain set of ta- songs during that time? Yeah. Yeah. Now, and it, there's only there's only a couple that I only listen during the summertime. No. Right. Just because it don't it doesn't give me that that uh that feeling that I that I want during the opposite, you know, during the, the other seasons. Then winter time cold. All right, so let me give you my bangers because when these joints go on, I'm going stupid. Number one, RIP to my guy, Black Rob. Whoa. Oh. When when whoa comes on, I'm going bananas. Three six mafia that stay fly. Remix or the regular? Regular. The original Remix is cool, but the original that stay fly. I, 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 woo, I had a T-Mobile sidekick at Savannah State, and that was my ringtone in the little so deep the pad, vibrator and the, and the bubble yeah, light up. Cu- bruh, yeah, that yeah, yeah, was yeah, the yeah. joint. Yeah. That uh young bloods. If you don't give a damn, we don't give up. Damn oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> going stupid. Don't start, don't start. Never mind. Yeah, right. I, I got one more, and um, man, that all go everything by Trinidad James with the man. golden eye in the back. Burn out, bro, burn out. Yeah, yeah, bro, that's that took the, the nation by storm. Yeah. Are you kidding yeah. me? That joint right there, straight yeah. fire, man. That's My homeboy fact. had a graduation party in Nashville, and I was in the bathroom. We already in there. We having a good old time. We had a little uh little club. He had rented out, and um, just a room, you know food, music, everything. We on that white Hennessy going crazy. And um, I was in the restroom and that joint dropped. Bro, bro. Yeah. Janet tell you, I ran out the bathroom, hit the middle of the floor. I was throwing people out the way. I was just Man, going ain't washing hands or nothing. He just Popped ran. the Molly, I am sweating. That's probably where COVID started. I ran out there and washed my hands. Oh, <laughs> I said, patience, man. you Pop, pop the shoot. Molly, I am sweating. They thought it was China. It was a German. Yeah, <laughs> shout out it to them. the whole time. <laughs> On Instagram, straight flexing, man. So yeah, give me that woe and stay fly. Damn by the young bloods and that all go everything. Trinidad James, man. It's that golden eye in it though, for real. That, yeah, that intro is classic. Yeah. It that's is. a banger, man. Yeah, that's man. a banger. Sure. So come on, that's it. Do the playlist. I'm like, man, do I got it? So <laughs> was that was that pertaining to was that pertaining to the um just the strictly during the summer or was that just bangers just in general no these are my bang like they'll mess around and creep on to every if i make a new playlist those will mess around and creep creep on to any playlist on every making. it's unanimous every just, one. Like, yeah every one that i make you know it'll it those will somehow some way get on there especially that trinidad james man out of all of them that they all go everything like you can't like you say you can't list i don't have a number one top song of all time but it, that all go everything can i don't even know how that looks to see you vibe out to that <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't even strike me as something that i would see you lean into when it come on like you give me that drink we know you can't be leaning <laughs> right. I'll be on, at phil collins and some old phil in the air. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't do that don't go there with don't go there with the homie so man, but yeah, they got my bangers, man. Uh Compass, what you got? All right, man. So, and like you said, man, these oh, these three songs have bled into every playlist. Yeah. Right. My riding, my thigh meat playlist. Like I don't know <laughs> how it made it in there, but it they made it into that playlist. Made man, it. man, jump on and say cut the feed on that Trinidad James. <laughs> Man, that's a man, that intro though, man. I, I, I thought about like, oh, that's yeah. I get that. I get it. Yeah, I get it's going first thing. All it's right, so creep into the uh, pop do for love. Okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jay Z, American Dreaming. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Damn, Wally. <laughs> and uh, Christian, Christian, full of smoke. You still on that? That's bro, one of your bangers, bangers? Bro, you know, you know those is all somewhat R&B-ish. You know what right. I mean? Um, okay. Yeah, and they just got a mix of, 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 of well, there's no really no rapping in the smoke. But yeah, man, that's probably one of the coolest beats I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> he on it up and stuff. I mean, just the lyrics, man, it's, it's so cool. I wow. got it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, they in all three of my plays, man. And, okay, so up. here you go. Okay, here go another one. Honorable mention, man. Uh, Wally was talking about, you know, 
how the instruments, man, put you in that euphoric state, you know what I mean? Which is why I listen to a lot of, um, well, certain songs, but I have a large playlist of chopped and screwed music, man. Um, I can't remember the name of the DJ that I normally subscribe to, but he chops and screws perfectly. So you, I mean, you know how them certain saxophones like you was talking about, he, he, he chops it so perfect, man, to where you can almost relive that okay. one second instrument. You can relive it for a minute and you know what I mean? Oh, man. I can dig it because I hated most down south music and you couldn't get me to touch nothing chopped and screwed. But once I heard that rainbow colors chopped and screwed, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. That's Never mind. Go ahead. Just, just go ahead. Over here, slow sipping my fruit topia. Like, oh, I can feel like, it, bro. But my, my oh, chopped and screwed, man. It's uh, Ludacris and uh, Wiz Khalifa, Party Girls, man. And uh, yeah, I always yeah. liked the song, but right. man, this dude chopped it up so beautifully, man. And it's got these weird instruments. I mean, it's a uh, producer, man, DJ Cashmere Cat from the UK. Fire. Now I get a chance to check that Insta beat out, man. It's hard. He's got, he's got a bloody mix. <laughs> All right, so you got the song going, man. Um, Cashmere who? Cashmere Cat. Is that what a C or K? Both of them. The cashmere with a C. The K with a C. Both So, so man, I'm. I've been. In, I'm, I was really waiting on this one because, like, the intros. So, let's let's just dive straight into it. Songs when that intro come on, man, or the album's gonna start. It just like that intro is gonna be mean. I think mine gonna be a little little cheesy, little corny, but I'll let y'all go first. Wally, we'll Go start ahead. with you. Wallace. Uh, what you point at? P? Yo, your intro? No, not mine. Uh, oh. I don't rap. I'm, I, that, I got I'm not a, a rapper. <laughs> I got a ghostwriter. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, that Dreams and Nightmares intro. Oof. Like when you just hear it, come on, you already know what it is. It's one of those, I, I'm throwing, I'm, I'm smacking the water bottles off the counter. I'm throwing with <laughs> That's probably how the phones broke the first two times. Oh, looky there, my 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 West Coast look showed up, and he said it's <laughs> nightmares. What a guy! What a Dreams guy! It's a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. see it. Freaking jerk. Did, um, is that did, 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 did Meek just eat that song? Is that his? I ain't gonna say his heart is joining ever, but is, is that just defining moment that you think? I'm gonna have to leave. Okay. That one. So so that whole gonna, wait a minute, man. That's but ah but, yeah, but again. But again I played the piano, so yeah, you caught me, you caught me right there. Then this is what they've yeah. been waiting for. You ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then if you get the build, you get the build, you get the build, and then once the beat drop come on, but but that's that's old, that's flamers me. Yep. Mm. That's not that's not this dream chasers. That's not uh, mm. police reform meek. That's I seen him on Allegheny Avenue one time <laughs> with the dirty braids. With, that with the braids? Back. Yeah. That was, that, was, yeah, that, was yeah. that meat rapping that, even though he had he had a cut by then. That was him. Right. Uh, I'll be fair to the masses. I'll, I'll give y'all a Jay-Z song that gets me whenever I hear it. Okay. The intro, Hard Knock Life 2, track five, or is it track four? I'm sorry, track four. With bleak coming of age. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Um, okay. Yeah, I was, I was about well, to not say get it to you, but yeah. Okay. I was about to say bleak trash, but yeah, I give you that one. Memphis bleak trash? Are you kidding me? That that one, I'll listen to bleak on that all day. Well, you know, now you say that like bleak, man. There's like two or three. My hood, but he had trick daddy and all them on it. Meth bleak is. Okay. All right. All right. Him and see with that who want what though on the truth. Album. Yeah. Nah, Bleak ain't he ain't trash, man. He just and and the third one <laughs> adjacent. <laughs> well, I mean, he ain't look who shadow he is, man. You know, <laughs> third one. Talk to him. What's your third one, brother? I'll be fair because this ain't this ain't got nothing to do seed related. This is all this is I'll go, I'll go dirty south. I'm tired. I'm tired. I got two. All right. 
First one, I hit y'all with this a couple of months ago. That dirty hit the flow. Yep. That drop. And then the other one is Trey with Ross and Wayne Incredible. That beat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's it. All right. I wrote two songs to that. Oh, wow. And I ain't heard nan one of them. I didn't record them. None of the trash. Oh, he wrote them. Yeah. I wrote them. I didn't didn't record them, though. Yeah. Flim flammed us, man. So, my intros, I think I, uh, coloring book, chances, the coloring book, all we got. The music is all we got. That joint, the intro to the clips, Lord willing, how we come on with the ding, ding, ding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That joint. Um, Kanye, good morning. Good morning, bro. Good morning, you know what I'm saying? Like, scratch man. that. I gotta scratch. Okay. Man, and um, Rick Ross on, on Teflon when he came with "I'm not a star." I'm not a star. Somebody lied. That was them. Them four. I give, you, give you that. It's too many though. Like Kayla yeah, said. Yeah, that's yeah. Like Kayla said in the comments, it's crazy to chop it up and con- condense it to three. Yeah, yeah. we should have. We'll be, we'll be here till midnight, like we did the first time we did. This. <laughs> yeah, just oh, chop yeah, it was, up. Yeah, yeah. Tell Kayla jump on. I try to see if she want to come on and rap with us. She want to give us a couple of songs. We can just kind of spread the love around, but then nobody want to jump on with. Hey, we got to kick the Filipino dude out. He he got where he, got, he over here. Calling, he, he calling me names. Hey, well, let me block him right quick. Yeah, I was trying to get somebody on with us, man. Let me send you the link right quick. Jump up here on the screen with us and music. Yeah, get into it. So Wally, uh, oh, we on compass. I'm sorry. What, what's oh, the intro? I already took your uh, Kanye. We did, man, but I had two, man, because I had a backup Kanye just in case, man. All right. Um, I'll start with that one. Probably Jesus Walks, uh, as far as intros. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that, uh, yeah, that, that, uh, I don't get with it, him, but if, if, it, if you call it cadence really? in the beginning, right? Yeah. But you know, I mean, I was a, you know, I was in the boots, man. Um, and really, that's my third, my third. My first one, man, is uh, that Lil Wayne, Bill Gates. Um, mm-hmm. Number two, well, actually, number two is Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, Bill Gates. Number one, that passed to Troy Vice first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What you got against Troy, Wally? No, no, no. I got in trouble when I, I heard that before. Um, oh, be ready, Swain. No, be no, ready. no. Uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a speech. Yeah. It's a All right. All right. So we you got your intros. You got your bangers. Wally, as you call it, you want to go thigh meat or your surprise songs? Thigh meat. You want to go into thigh meat? Uh, <laughs> AKA your juice music cuts, AKA she said, I need a massage and you know what that turns into, <laughs> AKA right. mattress music. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She, no, I, I wish you could shoot, I wish you could shoot that gift you all with the mattress. <laughs> Bam. Right. Oh, yeah. oh, man. Me, all right, so let me say this real quick. <laughs> Let me say it real quick. And it's it's not going to hurt nothing because she laughed when she saw it. So you remember you had the CD sleeves yeah. in the car yeah. or the big CD cases with four on each side. Yeah, yeah. I used to write on my CDs just so I knew what was what. Pasta so power wasn't. time. <laughs> so if it wasn't pasta power time, bro, y'all wild. <laughs> but if it wasn't like a... um an actual album or a mixtape. I used to write stuff on it so I knew what was on that particular CD. <laughs> Bruh, what I, had, I got one called the On Your Back soundtrack. <laughs> oh my God. End of story. <laughs> End Big John, of story. <laughs> Big John made one for me, man. Had a, uh, and that's one of those joints I didn't tell y'all about. Maybe I heard it before, but it was a, that's a white face CD and it said something to cut to. It's literally what it said. <laughs> Man, just so yeah. Let's get into these. Uh, <laughs> let's get into these. Um, these uh, as Wally calls these thigh meat joints. You know what I'm saying? These this <laughs> juice music, as my wife calls it. This, you know, um, yeah. my wife juice has, music. <laughs> yeah, juice. You know, some little juice music yeah. or whatever. I actually, and I'm not a big R&B guy, man. A lot of R&B that I hear um, is through Janet. Really, I don't, mm. you know. Um, I listened to, I've, I've gotten into a little bit more here lately, but um, I got a couple artists I, I was going to rattle off for y'all. So my, my thigh meat joint says we call the juice music. Um, there's a song Jamie Foxx did called Bed Springs. Bed Springs. 
check that joint out. Wally, Wally, check that joint out. The, the <laughs> Dead Springs joint. Um, Jamie Foxx did. Janet, listen to this uh, this thing. If it's less than a thousand times a year, I'd be surprised. But that Bryson Tiller don't. Yeah. Have Have you ever hit the don't at the, that pause? Have you ever hit it? Never. Never. <laughs> no, I think Janet hit it one time, but um, yeah. Um, that the John B. They don't know, man. <laughs> That's that's okay. that's one of my joy, my cuts. <laughs> and then so so the the um the Jamie Foxx the best friends that was my throw in number one. I went with something from the eighties, nineties, and the two thousand. You thought you was in your bag. No, nah, I'm saying like I'll do that in the shower by myself. I don't need help with none of that. But anywho, <laughs> uh so um I went with Bryson Tiller Don't that was 2015. They don't know by John B was 97. So that's my 90s and my 2000s and uh uh, love TKO. You got a cosign just now when you said that. Too. Another love TKO. What? Oh, the John B? Yeah, you got a cosign. Yeah, that's that joint right there. Uh, the love TKO by Teddy P. That was 1980. And um, how does it feel by D'Angelo? So you was the one standing there for shower power. That was your song. <laughs> Have it your way. <laughs> Classic, man. I love it. Y'all remember when that video came out, man? Yeah, I told Jan there was a girl down there giving him a little bit of neck. <laughs> you had to look over the screen to see it down and had them pausing and rewinding and stuff. Trying to... Yo, can we do like a can we do like a BET uncut episode of BFA, please? Wow. Yeah, you want to do one? I'm just saying, I don't care. You want to do a uncut? <laughs> like an uncut episode of, of this. Okay. With, we can a lot more, with a lot more profanity. It ain't even about the profanity. It's it's the it's, it's the picture paint. Like yeah, yeah. We can, y'all let me know. So them them my them my R and B joints. That Bad Springs Wally. Have you heard it before? That Jamie Foxx Bad Springs. Did you not uh, see the Did you not see the flea on the back of my neck? Just, yeah, bro. Shit, bro. He got the know? bite in his fingers and all. Yeah, so, yeah. You know what that is? But yeah, that's that's the my joints right there, man. So y'all can have that. Go ahead, Wally. I'm a Wally, RB yeah, dude. Wally been yelling. Wally, yeah. What's the thought? How did how did Gabriel get here? What was one of them song? What was one of them five beat song? Uh, my man, Max. <laughs> man, that's what he was listening to. Uh, he stretched out the tub. He don't care about nothing right now. Ain't nobody go past me. Uh. I would say one that's kind of cool to just play. Like one time I literally didn't say nothing. Just us chilling. I think we was at a resort. We was at the resort. So you get the little portable speaker or whatever we had. One of the one of the old like iPhone docks, right? Mm -hmm. Phone on there, plug the aux cable in. And I played that uh that moments in love joint. But the dock, the dock changed colors so that was literally just the light from that and then i had a bad episode with two bottles of chardonnay in the hot tub after that <laughs> so uh goodness yeah. gracious <laughs> yeah so it, it okay um damn i gotta do three of these you ain't got to i'm looking Genesis says say it by tory lanes acting up k camp neighbors know my name Trey songs. Kayla says she would not be attending three FA uncut. See, I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't go current. Anytime, any place. Janet Jackson. Oh, yeah. now hold on. Who said something? Janet said that, John. Oh, all right. That figures. Janet would say Janet. that. So okay, yeah. cool. Janet says Janet. I'm with it. Yeah, uh, ain't nothing current, Wally. Like you said, man. That that, that I don't listen to enough of it. To I, even, yeah. No, no, no. It's not even that. It's not. Even, well, I did get in my bag with the Mario earlier, so I I text y'all that. Yeah. He was. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard to go current, just because of the stuff we grew up listening to that our parents and everybody was listening to. Yeah. So. Yeah. Let's <laughs> moments. I said moments in love. Damn. One more or nah or nah by Ty Dolla <laughs> uh, uh, Man, this man. is crazy. And I got the whole I got the whole playlist right here, and I'm just not even I'm not even looking because I don't even want to have a cheat code come up right now. 
<laughs> oh, man. Mr. Man, man in the comments, man. Man, tell me one of your, uh, what's one of them uh, thigh meat cuts for you, man? Extra tenderized. David Sub Lee, rock, too. Sub David rock, ain't getting you know, right. Kelly probably got a Chris Brown. That's that's the homie for her. So that's her boo. They gonna Chris get Brown, one That's because she was born in 2001. Hey. That's all she knows is Chris Brown. Chris yeah. Brown got some, he got some cut. He ain't make this list, but he got some cut. All right, Compass will give it to us because Wally, Wally said he got a laundry list. It's too man. long. Yeah, it's, it's too long, man. I'm trying to be yeah, fair and not, not go to my playlist right now. All right, number I would have went. Boys to men never go away. That, yeah, that's on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank man. you. Yeah. No argue. No argue. Man. No arguing. Like, Lord. Yeah, man. That's I'm a, with you. I'm that's yeah. a cold cut, man. Yeah. Still. Yeah, uh, Maxwell, man, this woman's worth. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's, yep. yeah, that's another one, man. Uh, all right, so that fortunate that fortunate hit different when it first come on too, though. That's hard too, bro. And that so it almost made the list, but I bumped it for my dog. Bumped it for my dog. So, uh, tank relationship goals. I don't think I've ever heard that track. Oh, it's fire, man. Fire, man. That tank Another, lady I, I deserve. Yeah, that's a hard one. Relationship goals is killing that, though, man. All right. Let me get the uh, relationship goals. Man. Yeah, another one, man. Last one. Usher, man. Let me in. Well, it's called Let Me. Usher, let me. Off mm-hmm. the, uh, what album is what that? What album is that? Uh, I will tell you. I got I got another one. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, here you go. I'm I didn't skimming. want to go I'm to skimming. the <laughs> Give me mint condition breaking my heart. Breaking my heart. Ooh. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just saying. It's, hard. it's uh hard to love, PK. That's that usher, man. Hard to love. Let me. Yeah. There's a, there's a meeting in my We we really not gonna do that. Really I had a couple of silk okay, joints right. on here too. I had to let yeah, some silk joints. Okay, all right, all right. So if I'm if I'm on your playlist, I hand you the Oscar. You over there just like, hey, you going off? And I'm like, what? What is this? What's the surprise song that you got on your joint? Like, I'm gonna look at you like, Wally, what is this? <clears throat> I told you, it's, I told y'all before, it's the Madonna. That's not so. Well, uh, okay. Yo, if the, somebody the else reason, is riding, the reason, the be. reason behind it makes sense, but yeah, you're not gonna pull up next to me at a red light, look and see me like this, and I'm listening to that. Right. Kayla said, "Take you down by Chris Brown, Deep by Black Street, and Black One Street. in a Million by Aaliyah." The Madonna. Okay. You just got that one. That's the only surprise gonna be on there. It's probably a bunch of stuff. Uh. That's the only one you want to give it. any genre. Are we talking yeah, any, wherever? Are we talking, like, are we talking yes. the thigh, the thigh, the thigh meat cuts? Neo say, well, no, nah, we we slipped, we flipped off the thigh meat. So you said you was done. Compass gave us his. I went to surprise songs. Surprise songs, man. That's oh, we see what kind of mood you in. <laughs> like, bro, right. Go ahead, bro. You you got go ahead, bro. Got a birthday on the horizon. I'm about to put that Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> she Man, said she won't. She <laughs> said she won't pass you. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, I'm gonna go my third one. I'm gonna go my third one. Give me. <laughs> Are you stupid, man? Give me. Give me Alicia. Give me Alicia Keys diary. Okay. 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 I don't argue about that song either. We ain't no, not up for debate. You can't. You, there ain't nothing to argue about. You said in stone. If man, if man drops a Kel song in the comments, he's out. He's out. Yeah. Cut him from, cut him from like, undisputed as well, too. If it's going to be undisputed champion. <laughs> Just me. Singular. I'm like out here. <laughs> I give y'all my uh, surprise joints, man. PK going to be dancing like a Marion for Jan's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Touch. <laughs> Knees all messed up. Oh man, my uh, top surprise songs: Franz Ferdinand. This came off of Mad. Take me out, take me out. Dun, 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 dun. That joint. How did there. I know that's what we're doing? I, I'm gonna think about that now. Let me scroll. All right, my boy Jason Mraz had a song called "I'm Yours." Um, 
little guitar playing on the beginning of that. Bunch of John Mayer. Uh, my my boy at College of Charleston put me on to a bunch of John Mayer that uh, I used to have. We used to listen to it heavy. Now I got to get back into it. But John Mayer had a song called Neon that I was on for a while. Um, Cheryl Crow, my summertime vibes. Uh, all I want to do is have some fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. And then my last one I was playing the other day, I was blasting it coming down um, down 54 over here. It was a Credence Clearwater Revival. Have you ever seen the rain? I want to know. Have you ever oh, seen man. the rain? Oh, you it. That. So you, you play yeah. that like I never. Yep. Just, I'll throw okay, it on. Okay, okay. I'm on max. Like, right, like right. if you ride with me, because it switched from Trans Lee, and then that mess around and come on, they're gonna be looking like it's a bop, but it don't go. So right, play, right. My playlist. I'm not. I don't know how y'all are. I know Wally is extra analytical. He probably got a thought process to how it's gonna flow. My shit. You might hear. It's just alphabetical order. That's all. That's it. Oh no! I throw them in there and shuffle them, and then you might—it ain't no telling what you. You know what I'm saying? Do. The shuffle, yeah. But when I—I I gotta look. I gotta look at my list. My list is in alphabetical order. I hit the shuffle, and then it's gonna go however it's gonna go from there. Oh uh, yeah, see, you okay. liable to okay. catch any. Yeah. If I DJ, <laughs> yeah. if I DJ, then I know how to control what's. Right, 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 control right. Thing. But yeah, then my surprise joint. But that, uh, that have you ever seen the rain? I'm like, I literally had, I had. It was in the Camaro bumping. And I pulled up at the light, shouted, looking, you know, and I'm I'm over there going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was over there rocking, rocking. Oh, so, yeah, man. What's the surprise, uh, Compass? Oh, man. Uh, I play this all metal. A whole lot of metal. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know I liked it, man. Uh, That's because you got it. That's because you got it. It's a track. Called Oblivion by a band called Dirty Palm. Um, Dirty what? <laughs> you heard me, bro. Yeah, Dirty Palm. Mm, mm, mm. I was like, damn, bro. I showered. I thought, Why right, you right. Like that. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by Dirty Palm. PK, uh, man, we was talking about this before we started the episode, man. All the noise, man. They're just the instrumental. Yep. Um, yep. I couldn't think of the name of it. It's on my playlist, man, but I, I didn't know which playlist. I got like 30 of them. Um, and then I Michael Jackson it. Thriller, man. <clears throat> thriller? That ain't no surprise, okay. though. But can, huh? okay, can we, can we well, be I'm fair? Saying, you know, really, how often do you hear Thriller? Can, can we be fair and just say Mike and Prince is unanimous here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I get that. Just only because it's kind of mm -hmm. like how everybody, you're going to have MJ as the GOAT. Or in the top five, at least. Hey, Hope came with that Queen, Somebody to Love. That's a joint. Yeah. And there's a couple I picked up off of uh, Guitar Hero, too, man. Mississippi Queen, stuff like that. I picked up oh, yeah? that playing, playing yeah, Guitar I never, Hero, never man. played. Hey, I a lot of my music, man, from well, like 2K, if we're talking about video games. Mm -hmm. 2K, you know, yeah. That, uh, of course, on that Guitar Hero back in the day, that Bon Jovi Living on a Prayer. Living on a prayer. I, I've heard yeah. of that from a movie. Yeah. I'm just saying, you catch you catch the vibe off of that. I'm good. I'm I'm cool. I like that one. Like I like that one track, man. Uh, it's a vibe by the Congress, man. Y'all check that out. That's <laughs> my that's one of my go. One of my go-to tracks, man. Okay. My uh, yeah. So those those are my three, though, bro. Luke Combs, a country artist for those who don't know, Prince, 17 Days, Somebody Love, People Sleep on Rock Music. Yeah, yeah. Man said, uh, Daltrey, Chris Daltrey? The Daltrey joint on there? Daltrey. Y'all got surprise tracks? Stone oh, I got Compass. Another, another surprise track? If you want to, or we can, we can slide on. Michael Buble, it's Christmas, man. Surprise track. Really? Yeah, he got Michael the old, he got a he got an old Michael Blue forties voice. Oh, man. Blay. It's Buble. <laughs> it's Buble. It's, Buble. it's French. Uh, um, <laughs> we just hit the uh Round and Pool Bodies, man. I ain't never heard of it. Who? Drowning pools, drowning pool bodies. That's the whole name 
Let the bodies hit the hit the floor. Oh, okay. It's, I mean, the, the name of the song is just called Bodies. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. That sounds like a like a case. K pop. Yeah. Like man, what you what you do, man? My surprise is Luke Combs. Oh, I got Luke Combs. Uh, Prince, 17 Days. All right, we are going to the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and all that kind of stuff. So I put the holiday tracks on there. Temptation, Solid Night, DM. We're good. All right. All right, Temptation, Solid Night. That's one of mine. Christmas ain't Christmas just ain't Christmas by the OJs. Without the one you love. Jackson 5, Give Love on Christmas Day. Oh, uh, well, Jackson 5, Santa Claus coming to town. Hmm. Give Love on Christmas Day is my favorite Christmas song. But then, you know, when when the big dog lean in on Silent Night on that Temptations joint. <laughs> yeah. Hold yeah. microphone down his throat. Look, we got a shirt on now. We good. We straight. <laughs> my man. See, yo, you got to get you got to get Miyagi out of here, bro. He's taking all my stuff. What he said? He He's said coming through. I'm going to say it again. Chris Brown, this Christmas. Oops, I'm sorry, Wally. I'll fix your face, Chris who Brown. Said, who Bird said that? One, and that's a good one. What? We got to play this, that Chris Brown this Christmas. Solid holidays. Uh, I told okay. you that's Kayla. She was born in 1999. Man, that is a dope song, man. Chris Brown's is better. <laughs> and Miyagi's <laughs> on. He got me cut in, man. Mr. Lee Miyagi, though. <laughs> <Cobra> <laughs> yeah, Throwing up uh, the Kanye shrugs and everything. And uh, Sounds of Blackness, So Holidays is my last one. Yeah, man. You know, I'm, I've been yeah, on some black about. this time. Oh. Yeah, kind of, kind of tough, man. So the holiday song, yeah, you can throw them on and just vibe to them. They was talking about that work. Well, I'm ready to throw the music yeah. on. Is it too early? Smart. You only listen to it around that time? No. It's okay. I, I put it this way: the songs that we have as our favorite Christmas songs, those are the songs that I think. Oh, those are the songs that are adjacent with Home Alone. Any time of year, it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Everybody got a this Christmas. Hope said uh, Donnie Hathaway is this Christmas. Chris that was Brown's mine, this Christmas. Bro. Everybody got a this Christmas song. Yeah, everybody. Hey, now I need that the way though. We might need to do a, like a, a March Madness bracket of this Christmas joints yeah. just to see, you know. Yeah. Yo. Y'all remember day twenty six, man. Day twenty six. Remember day twenty six. This Christmas too. Hey, we do. We gotta see how many this Christmas there are, and just like. <laughs> oh, I, that's a good. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, we should have just. Oh, just we should have just did this with different songs in general anyway oh and just bought it into your march world. madness march madness music bracket coming music bracket march madness music bracket book it book it okay gabriel give me some of that drink brother I like so that. I like that. are we are we good with the holiday tracks compass you got something Nah, oh, man. Yeah, the, the Donny Hathaway was one of my. Donny Hathaway, let me write that. Oh, gotta get a this uh, Christmas bracket. Anything, anything from the Kenny G Christmas album. Kenny G. Oh, it's yeah. anything. Yeah. Any, yeah. it don't matter. Any of them. You go first Noel. You go. It don't matter. Anything. So you're a you're a fellow pianist, uh, cat named George Winston, man. Man, I almost said something to you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know who George Winston is. Yes. Yeah, cold man. Boys the Men Christmas album. Yep. <laughs> okay, okay. So Wally, man, wait, wait. this for the, this PK, you and sis, you and Janet. I, this is it's it's. I might get a kick out of it during the holidays, man. But it, the kids love it, right? The kids love it. Uh, CeeLo Green, man. CeeLo got a Christmas album, but the song is called "You're a Mean One." And it's basically the Grinch song, but mm -hmm. it's very animated. You know what I mean? It's CeeLo, he say, you know, but it's so fire. Check that out. for it? Uh, I don't know. I don't oh. know. I got so much stuff scribbled on this paper over here. Man. Yeah, it's so green, man. He's the guy that shows up and has all the information and can't cite his references. It's a damn shame. Who, oh yeah, and usually his phone be dead. That's the, the neutral. That one. It's him. Him. The yeah. I'm saying. I mean, so, you know. So so let's just. I I put the joint on there when you make that face like. Ugh. Oh yeah. That beat though. Ugh. Yeah. Like when you hear the beat, it's over with. What makes you make that face, man? That you've heard a couple of your tracks and you're just like, oh man, I think it's just filthy. Cut it off, sir. Just please. I told you, that cat said, cut it off, 
sir. You know what? What? What y'all got for me? Is it? This is just one song. Cup, uh, well, two or three. If you are, we supposed to have like two or three for everything. Right. One. That beat like, right there, Gabe. I like that one too, man. That was That's a that dope, one right there. dope intro. Yep. <laughs> show for show. Uh, I'm gonna say, and y'all can look this up and tell me where the sample came from. I can tell you, but I'm not gonna tell you. Okay. 50 Cent, 50 Cent strong enough. Strong enough. 50 Cent strong enough. Before I self destruct album. I don't think I listened to that album. Okay. I wrote that down. That beat though? That's what you're talking about? If he sampled it, I want to hear a ridge. You know the original. Strong enough. Song. Yeah. Oh, I ain't getting no comments. I got to listen to that offline, man. Yep. Yeah. In, the, in the car. <sighs> I to listen to that. I Let me see. Let me see. Let me hear this that, filth. That the beat come on and it and it it start it start trouble for me. Um, Trade the truth, pop trunk wave. Ooh, trade the uh, truth. Okay. I want to expect Chevy, Chevy days, two fifteens in the trunk. Two fifteens. Two fifteens. The competition tens on the inside of the pop. What? What? You thought you was doing something. Mm-hmm. Alleg- allegedly. Allegedly. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> I'm talking about with with the with the sound. Though. The sound was all all legit. Car alarms. Crack the crack the back windshield in the winter because I ain't turning music down before I got out the car the night before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cracked up. Yeah. Do better, man. Janet over here giving the answers to the test. What she said. What, what what song of hers, Janet? What song? What song is that? Wu Tang Triumph. Yep. Ti Swing Your Rag, Sub Part Three, Big Crit, Pills and Automobiles. They coming through. PSA. Bryce and Tiller's releasing a Christmas album. All this stuff just coming through. So if I'm behind, I'm sorry. Oh no, no, nah, nah, for sure. So, uh, Man, I'm curious what they what they listen some to. Some of them beats, yeah. When that beat just came, I was just like, just nasty. But um, I, them big crits, all them subs, man, they they hit. But um, Lil Wayne, a milli. A milli, yeah. Snoop's drop it like it's hot. Yeah. Clips grinding. Right. Noriega super thug. Ooh. And there's a tie between Dirty Boys that hit the flow and Mr. Lucci half stepping. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you didn't get out. Yeah. Monster beats, man. Uh, yeah. All of that. So for the for the for the people in the back, one more time. Them beats though, like oh, that Lil Wayne and Millie, Snoop's dropping like it's hot. Some of these songs, I mean, everybody kind of knows. Yeah, Clips yeah, like right. grinding. Noriega Super Thug, and that Dirty Boys hit the flow, and that Mr. Lucci half stepping. And that's just a couple of them that I was just like, man, this right here just go bananas. So. Give me the uh give me the entire beat drop. The entire beat, but give me the just give me the beginning of that Aaliyah. We need a resolution. Okay. That, Tim, that Timbaland beat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and, and yeah. Uh, what China Man said about Kendrick. Give me Kendrick feel. Give me that beat. And just okay. just put me just put me just put me in a setting where you got the piano going, you got the black tie with the gowns, and just play the beat to Kendrick feel. Mm-hmm. Okay. We straight. We good. I like that, man. Just cut it off. Everything else just hope came with Wu Tang at Triumph, Notorious Thugs was. Yeah, that bone and biggie, biggie. Yeah, that yeah. bone and me. Bobby. Hey, there's a, there's another one. It, it ain't even the beat. It's just like it was just like a grimy joint. Well, the beat is a little bit too. It's the gun clacking in the background when Pac did the joint with Bone Thugs. Thug love. Thug love. love. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Filthy ridiculous, man. Yeah. But that Mr. Lucci, y'all know about that half step. We had that thing what? busting the cutlass trunk down. <laughs> Why don't you just go camp no Lucini then? If you want to do all Lucini's out there. Too. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Pookie and Mr. Lucci had them hits, man. Yeah. I had that's what I had. Pookie, man, the Rippler. That was yeah, mine. that Rippler, man. So yeah, then was just a couple of them, just fire, just filthy. And then I noticed like drop it like it's hot, grinding, and uh, Super Thug, uh, all Neptunes. 
So I was on the Pharrell Chad Hugo type joint right there. Yep. And super, th- yeah, hit the flow and half stepping. Yep. All good. Nice. What you, what you what you got, Wally? Oh, Wally only gave me like one. He got so that's the problem. He yeah, like he a, gave us one. He probably, I mean, but he's so technical, man. I mean, I got one one. You gave us you only one. Gave us one track. That beat of, though. Of a beat drop. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you combined like a, a whole. You paid a, a environment for us, man. No, one I did song. not. I said fifty strong enough. Are you okay. that? Uh, I mean, not are you that somebody? Uh, we need a resolution. Okay. Our trunk wave. Okay. All right. And All right. in the Kendrick field. Ke- Why y'all keep coming at me like that? I don't even know y'all. My bad, brother. My bad. We beefing? What's beef? <laughs> we, what's beef, blood? <laughs> <laughs> what's popping, five? <laughs> you, want, you want some action? Come get some action. Oh, <laughs> man. Nah, bro. This is not for everybody. You want some action? <laughs> come get some action. Yeah, uh, about the day Cops, me. Compass, what you got? <laughs> you, about the R D me research and development me. <laughs> right. I ain't finna be the R D on them. <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm going that that party girls chopped and screwed, man. That, that. Party girl, you still on that? Bro, <laughs> listen, you gotta listen. I'm gonna shoot it to you. Hey, I'm gonna shoot it to you. Yeah. As soon as I finish, I'm, I'm going to show the text that to you, man. No, we already went to us. 17 um, times already. Yeah. Dave East, Can't Ignore. Can't Ignore uh, is a good one. Yeah, I think his first 16 bars is no beat, man. And then it just kind of, it's that build up while we was talking about in the bass line. Yep. Yeah, cold. I'm going to let the beat build. Yeah, and then the Mr. Pookie, man, uh, the Rippler. I like it. Yeah, I love all of that. Can I, can I say... Can I we say, don't do beef, uh, we vegan. <laughs> <laughs> hope, man, hope is in the bag. That down, that Rough Riders show. Can, can I say, can we just drop Master P body body in there, please? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Yeah. There was some, I was trying to get, some of them just like goes without Rambo is. A, that's a hot, I'm sorry, these coming in late. Sicko mode. Hmm. Who said that? Who said that? Wayne Hustle music. Uh, Kayla said Sicko mode. Fire track. I we told you she was born in 2008, man. <laughs> I ain't heard nothing past 2000. See? No. Oh, my God. Oh, what Bree, Bree sent something in. She said, uh, oh, her Drop Everything song was Ari Lennox's Pressure, <clears throat> Big Timer Shine, and Wayne Go DJ. And then she said the Summer Walker album. I don't know how I feel about Summer Walker. The, the new, I, I don't, yeah, I, I haven't really listened to the new one. Her first joint though was pretty dope. Was it Fire? Was it Flamo? It, man, she did that uh that uh that Usher man. <laughs> what was that? Um, you make me wanna. Uh, she did a joint with you know with him on it. <laughs> yeah, bro, it was hard. It was hard, man. You know, I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm hard dude, dude, man. <laughs> We was in the eighth grade, PK, when that came out, man. You make me you was uh, you old as hell, Brian. Don't put me in hell. <laughs> man, he took you all the way down. You remember when that dropped? We was in we was in middle school. Man, man, bro. Oh man. Oh well, we, we <laughs> y'all wild, yo. I'm gonna give you my classic tracks. No, nothing need to be said to go along with them. Um, unfortunately, they all like hip hop rap. So hypnotize Biggie. Paid in Full by Eric B. and Rakim, Rapper's Delight, Sugar Hill Gang, classics. Mm. Not non-debatables, non-negotiables. I just that's, threw that in there. I didn't know if y'all had some came, That's Kane set it off, and Rakim let the rhythm hit him. Ooh, know. that Rakim. Yeah. I'm not, we're not, we're not talking about it. Like, it comes on. We ain't, got, we ain't got nothing to talk about. It comes on. Leave me alone. Well, Wally, what was your three again? What? You said your three, you had the same three? Your beats? No, where we at? Oh, no, oh, yeah, classics. Oh, I didn't do nothing. Okay. What you just I, said? I thought, yeah, you said Rock Him. Sure. I just said Rock Him, let the rhythm hit him. Right. Yep. Kane set it off. That's my favorite Kane song. But Those two. Mm, a third. You ain't gotta have a third. You can stand by those. (laughs) 
Stop playing, man. <laughs> uh, damn, damn, damn. I'll get back to you on that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> You got so many get back tos on here, so many around to it. I was about Man. to say, I was about to say, I'm tied between Kayla just said hit him up. I was gonna say hit him up, and then Biggie's Negroes bleed. Okay. When, that, when when I'm all in with the pot one, like I said, that's my favorite rapper, and then Biggie's like one A one B for me. But when that Biggie come, when that B that particular Biggie song comes on. Mm-hmm. I just gotta let him. I gotta let him roll on that. Hey, Wally, why why Biggie over Hov for you though? Why not? Why? You can't say what can you say? You can't say longevity. Clearly, well, no. you know the Biggie, longevity. Biggie over Hov. Okay, okay. Oh, you no, say I, why Biggie or why yeah. not Biggie over? No, you 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 take Biggie over Hov, right? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying, but why? Because I'm asking you as the as the one of us that, that spits, that rhymes, lyricism, you know, lyrical. Yeah, because they both, why? both of them. Because why? Biggie, because Biggie's the best storyteller, period. Shout out to Slick Rick. But Biggie's the best storyteller, period. Right. Huh, okay. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And then okay. if you wanna if you wanna give any type of credit to hold, that's fine. You can do that, but you know how I feel. Shout out to young Chris. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just leave that there. If you want to talk about it, you wanna talk about it. Jay-Z raps like somebody talks, but if you wanna talk about it, we can we can discuss it. I can send you the proof. But we just Kevin, gonna Kevin Hart face. Oh, uh, we're gonna turn it off? Okay. All right. You know, LL all Cool J ready. All Jay-Z tomorrow. Genesis. All Genesis all non, non negotiables is uh don't crew by gold link and location by Khalid. Okay, what was the first one? Uh she said it's always gonna be don't by Bryce right. Tiller. By Bryce, right? Crew, crew by Gold Link. That's fine. And, we were just listening um, to that. Location by okay. Khalid. Okay. Non-negotiable, she said. All good. Oh, okay. Huh. Huh. Hey, anything else? Y'all gonna give me some artists I need to know? Bro, that gold link do go, man. It do go hard. Uh, yeah, I mean. Who I need to be listening to. That is the only one of his songs I like, though. What? Uh, from Gold Link? I'm gonna put you on, brother. I'm sorry. I got a beat. I got a beat. I got a beat. I've never wanted to hear the real song huh. because of how much I love the beat. Write this down. Gold Panda in my car. Panda. Panda. That one Panda. designer? Gold, go. <laughs> Gold Panda. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> in my car. <laughs> Yo, I hate y'all. Only in my car? No, I got no pickup. No, that's the name. Of the, no, no that's the name of the song. In yeah, I got you. Car. Yeah. I tell that yeah. all the time. Yo, get in yo, my yo, car. Yeah, with, the, with the baby face whip appeal. I said that on the last one. Whip appeal and where will you go? Dude, where where go. business. Yep. He did. Yeah. He did. Janet Gellis, uh, whip appeal. Janet said, you got to listen to him. Uh, Moray, must listen to Giveon. Yeah, I like both. Uh, I got a bunch of them. I've been trying to put Wally on Translee, man. If y'all not listen to Translee Ooh. by way of Huntsville, Alabama, signed with T.I., you got to get on that Translee, man. Just yeah. just throw something on and let it, just let it rise. Translee. <clears throat> I, I listen to a dude, uh, R&B type guy. I think he's a white guy, actually. Well, I know he's a white guy. I've seen his video. Healy. H-E-A-L-Y. I want to say he's from Memphis. He got some tracks too. Um, he pretty much did uh, the Three Six Mafia to roll with it. He pretty much took Juicy J's verse and just like ran with it, like singing or whatever. But it's on a laid back beat vibe. How you Healy. spell it again, Pete? H E A L Y Healy. Hell yeah, Kayla just said Jalen Kelly. He did a song with Translee that's called One of the Ones. That joined us. The Translee Healy 
this rapper that Big Crit, uh, he won a beat contest with Big Crit. His name is Bosswood. Mm. That's another one. Um, Sir, Mashego, Brent Fires. Mm. I ain't heard nothing from him in a minute either. Brent I mean, Fires. Maybe I look for him. Who, Brent? Yeah. Brent got some fire. Brent got some fire out there. Yeah. But those those are some like you gotta be gotta be listening to. Wally got it, you gotta give Transley a, a shot, man. The Healy, Bosswood, Sir, Shago, Brent Fires. I mean, I rock with Jadena that 85 to Africa is a solid album. Mm. That's just a couple of those I threw out there. It'd be, it be mm. hard to it'd be hard to give stuff a chance, man. I know. That's, that's is, wrong with you know. <laughs> no, man. I just got an attitude problem. So yeah, well, we know that. I just <laughs> gravitate. I gravitate to that. But how you gonna be open minded? <laughs> you just, you just go, I want violence always. <laughs> always. <laughs> Daily. Man, man, just try it, man. One thing I can say is I'm consistent. Yeah, a consistent butthole. Exactly. Exactly. That's not, yeah, it's not cool, man. No, it's not. It's not. But at least I'm aware. At yeah. least try it. So I look, so I can get him to try a vegan meal, but he won't listen to an artist. Like he didn't gotta ingest it. Right. But he'll do a vegan stuff, meal. It'll get, stuck. it'll get stuck to where I gotta like if I hear it, I'm gonna start researching. Mm. I can't hear, I can't hear stuff and then it comes out. Mm. Like stuff gets stuck when it when I listen to something. It I'm gonna tell stuck. you, translate, man. So I let PK gave me, we was I was on the world on the uh, highway going to work. He said, listen to this one first and then listen to this one. But I, I did it backwards, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I shuffled it to the second album. Um, on, uh, and it was it was a little bit more conscien- conscious content. Mm-hmm. Um, which, I, man, I, I fell in love with it, man, because I'm still on my Nipsey. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm still on my Nipsey way. So uh Trans Lee gave me them kind of vibes. But that first album, man. Yeah. Yeah, the first one is uh Minds All Over the Place. Minds All Over the Place. And then yeah. Freedom Summer. Oh, Freedom yeah. Summer. Man. Yeah, he, he a, gave you he, he gave you he that, whatever there, you man. want, man. Well, yeah. you gotta take from me quality assurance. I wouldn't have you listen to no bull job. At least you can do it. Just give it, give it a spin and be like, hey, B, that ain't that ain't. Yeah, he's fire for real. Ain't gonna take no, ain't no, ain't no, what you eat don't make me. <laughs> he translates that. <said. laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, who I need to be listening to? I need to listen to Wally, actually. Philadelphia P Freeway. Philadelphia P. I ain't got nothing. Wow, uh, you, you, ain't gonna, you, ain't gonna, you ain't got nothing we need to be listening to. I don't have nothing. Lay Marie ain't got no new stuff coming out? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing for real. I really don't. That's right. that's, just, that's just trying. That's just trying. Now, what you, what you got, man? What's the artist um, I need to know? Somebody I need to listen to. We already know about Tobe. We had Tobe. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I want to. Yeah. Um, honestly, bro, yeah, I don't, I don't have anybody. I would, I mean, I'm trying to leave is probably the newest artist. Yeah, he's he's been out for a minute. He's the newest. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oh, I mean, I wrote down, I scribbled down here, Shawty Low, they know, doom, 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 doom. Oh, yeah. That was a beat that was hard. But which category, though? I mean, the beats, the beats. That, you know, <laughs> that was in the beats. That's to be the beats, because it's nothing that's else. Beat. Oh, yeah, yeah was... he ain't talking about nothing, but doom, Dang, doom, bro, doom, 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 doom. Like, Ooh. Rest of Love, man. Why yeah, I'm glad the kill is lyrical. He, I mean, that that is, is a tough, he is a tough crown. I know you ain't talking about his lyrics. <laughs> right. No, I just said it got to be the beat. The mad rapper over here, G. Yeah, 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 bro. It's it's really right. so. Just I don't even I don't yeah. even want to ask this next question. Um, while you got the uh, over under, I we had time for it. I ain't. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't even messed with it. All right, we good. We good. But I, I'll just like a couple of lyrics. Hey, Victoria. What up? What's up? what's, what's your favorite song? <laughs> Yeah, of course. <laughs> heard that, right? I did, bro. <laughs> We've been rolling with that for a strong six months now. Or whenever yeah. it released, she caught right. it like next day. Yeah. A next, strong six months. Like literally the next day after it dropped, she she been on it ever since. 
Man, Tobey. Tobey Chuku. I like it. I like it. What's a lyric you heard, man, that, like, so this, this don't even pertain to Wally, because what's a lyric you heard? You was like, man, look here. Damn, it don't pertain to me. Why don't pertain to me? Because you just oh. like that little gif I be sending and just shrugging like. <laughs> yeah, the little dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, Wally, you, you got something new when you listen to? It? <laughs> the lyrics in general? I mean, just, just a line that you heard. Mm. Last name ever. Oh, so many. First name greatest. It's, it's it's a it's a whole like a sprained you know, ankle, you, boy. Oh, so you are you asking me like something of mine? Or are you talking about wherever? If one of your lyrics is one of the ones that you knew just fire, like what's a, what's a bar you heard? You like yo, just a right. line. Uh, like while they said there's a difference between being underrated and hasn't made it. I was like that's fire. Mm. Drake with the like, like the sprained ankle boy. I ain't nothing to play with. I thought that was a fire line. No boy. What? How you feel about real G's moving silence like lasagna? Like lasagna. See why, boy? Why? <laughs> 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 what about when Pun said dead in the middle of Little Italy? <laughs> what about when Bryson said he he only effed you up because you let him? Because you let him. <laughs> oh, we get some wild boy. No, man. I'm See, all man. right. I gotta think. I gotta uh, think. We ain't got time thinking, man. People gotta go to sleep tonight. We ain't got time to be waiting on you. All right, fine. <laughs> he said, "Fine, whatever." Right. Show the so, so. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let me just ask you some of these questions then, Wally, before, hey, we talk about Astro Compass? If you want to, man, we don't have to. I thought we was gonna segue into it. Yeah, uh, we gonna get into it. I wanna hear Wally with a couple of these because he, um, what kind of music do you like? <laughs> right. Can you, can you concentrate on other things when you are listening to music? Yeah. Can you play a musical instrument? Yeah. If so, what do you play? Piano. How long have you been playing? Three years. Three, four. <laughs> Are you good at it? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> do you listen to classical music? Sometimes. Have you ever sung karaoke? With or without the lights on. What? You asked. <laughs> you asked. Uh, what do you do? Ooh. Stop playing. Uh, have you ever sung karaoke? No, not I, not not out. Really going to an actual location to do it? No. All right. Why am I getting I, grilled? Why am I getting grilled with? I mean, because you pretty much shot through the tier list. So I was just <laughs> right. Shot through. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> um, if you if you could start a band, what type of music would you play, and why? Jazz. Because you ain't got to hear nothing. You don't have to hear nobody say nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if you think if you think back to like certain artists back in the day. Like I love Barry White because Barry had a real band. Everybody was in there doing something. Same with, same with the Marvin Gaye tracks. Same with the Dells, Delphonic Stylistics, Blue Magic. Everybody was in there doing something in a corner, with a microphone set up, catching the A track spin off. So, literally, that like you don't need words for that. Or the same as anything that Stevie does or you don't know my name or diary or you know what I'm saying like just those songs where you ain't gotta have no lyrics to it like I literally to those songs I just named I have the instrumentals to those songs and I'll just let those play sometimes let them run you could let those run yeah like that's all you need like I don't know it's a fear <laughs> it's a fear it's a fear I'm the comments just catching up. Wally, uh, China Man said you play the triangle. <laughs> Bing. 
Bing. <laughs> All right, so over under, we pick it and kick it. We go slide it. So, man, those that's watching that's been listening to us talk, uh, talking with us, rocking with us. Uh, if you, unless you just had your head in the sand, been under the rock. Y'all know Travis Scott is a a rapper. He had a concert. Some stuff happened at the concert. Some lives were lost. And um, you know, we weren't gonna dive too much into the specifics. I well, Compass wanted to get into it because the question I have for them is like, I saw. A nine-year-old, I think, might have just passed away a day or two ago. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, Wally has a, a five-year-old and a, a one-and-a-half-year-old. I mean, Compass got a 14, a six, and a two, something yeah. like, you know, in that range. Yeah. But you're talking about a six-year-old and a five-year-old. They're three years from going to a concert. So the only question I really have for y'all, then I'll let Compass dive into an ice ask a couple of questions. Or, you know, if y'all, you know, those that's uh, watching with us want to talk about it. You know, four years from now, when Miss Victoria wants to go see Tobe, or you know, three years from now, when Micah wants to go see whomever, pops, we letting that happen? Y'all going? Y'all taking him? Y'all taking her? What's up? No. no. Flat out. We ain't got nothing to talk about. She want to yeah. go see. He doing Fi Fi in Newport News, man. So okay. Three years okay. from now, it's a classic. So, okay. No. Toby, um, no. I, I, you know what? That's that's different, though. We have the whole family going to see Toby. I'll go see Toby. I'll, how's, I'll that, how's that different? How's that different? But, okay, the that. difference between Toby and... It's and a different Toby. audience. It's a different audience. Different audience. Okay. Man. Right? Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, it ain't, it ain't really a whole lot of street kids, man. Messing with Toby like that because of his context. You know what I mean? So Kayla said before all that happened, would y'all have let him go Hell to a concert? No. Hell no. To, to, to Travis Scott? Who any, ever to, no. for any concert? Like kid kids bop at nine. You letting her go? Oh, kids bop? Not the not the Disney joint where they sitting up there, you know, at the hockey arena and like a <laughs> full on you can walk down to the stage type joint and all that. We y'all going to that? Nah, that's a safety thing from as a, just I mean just being a parent. Nah, you're not going solo. <laughs> no. You know, now I'll accompany you. You can go as a team, you know what I mean? To the kids bop joint. Nine years old at a Travis Scott? Nah, bro. Who let you in? <laughs> that's about that. You know, that was my first question. Yeah, that's also give me a voice your concern and stuff because you want to you want to talk about this live. I did, man. Okay. Um it was, I mean, I think it was in Houston. I think he's a Houston native. Well, Tom, you tell me about it. You run it down for me specifics. Okay, so uh, which uh, brief synopsis, man. Did, uh, did the show in Houston, okay? And uh, basically, what is, I think the, the death count now, what is it, 10 people, I think? Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and I mean, Astro World, you know what I mean. Love the only reason why, because I don't really, I don't really rock with, I don't rock with Travis Scott like that. I mean, for his music anyway, outside of his tennis shoes, like, you know, I'm, I love, I like the the backwards swoosh, you know what I mean. That's that's my thing. Um, however, okay, uh, the correlation between his music and tennis shoes is why that nine year old is at this venue. His music, okay, maybe they do vibe with sicko mode. Maybe they do, you know. Um, but why is there a nine-year-old at an event like that? Mm -hmm. I, I've never heard any lyrics from Travis Scott that would entice a nine-year-old to be at that venue. It's, in, in this regards, this is the... I want to be friends. Well, they saying, well, the dad took him or whatever. Okay, I, I got you. And like you like you was getting, getting ready to get into, Wally, go ahead. That's one of those situations where um, um, But dad, I really, really want to. I want to go to Travis Scott. If you don't take me, I'll hate you. I'm not trying to be friends with my kids. Yeah, we're not, we not buddies. <laughs> 
I'm not taking, we're not homies going to see, there's no way, like, I understand you may like something that I like, or vice versa, but it's not going to be a commonality every day. So here's, here's another thing, man, that we, we can't misconstrue, right, is he's a, he's a Houston native, right? Um, and what I do know about Travis Scott, man, he is very well in tune with the city. You know, they love him there. I mean, outside of, you know what I mean, uh, uh, what's his name? Bun B and that whole yeah, okay. yeah. UK, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, the next thing, you got Travis Scott, you know? Uh, so, okay. I can almost empathize with the dad taking it. We're, I'm gonna take my son to go see the concert, okay? Um, and we're gonna do this as a, you know, as a team or whatnot, okay? Um, and the reason, you know, my whole my whole gripe about the whole thing, man, was, you know, I was gonna do uh, a review on his shoe a couple of weeks ago. Uh, matter of fact, that Monday following. The Astro World uh, concert. Mm -hmm. One of my boys, man. Uh, before I hit Wally and PK, before I hit you two, I hit him up, man. I'm like, hey, bro, I'm gonna do this. And he was like, nah, man. People pass, people die. You know. I'm like, well, I don't, I don't. What's the correlation between the shoes? You know what I mean? And this concert. Ah, you know. Well, you know. God bless the, you know. God bless the. Okay, what Travis Scott got to do with? Uh. Mm -hmm. Safety protocols of Houston, Texas. Okay. Well, Caleb, what, Jan, what Janice said, joking but not joking. Well, when you nine and your dad's like twenty, y'all buddies or y'all trying to be. And Caleb said the child was on his dad's shoulders when things got crazy. Dude, my thing, I don't care if he was on his shoulders, sitting in a wagon, this that. And I just feel like a nine year old. Any, I don't know and what I'm age you should be at. I'm not taking you there for that to be a potential risk. If it's a did you go if a potential risk, right? So me and my wife, we we always we gonna get our boys to the gun range, right? But because it's a it's a potential risk, now I'm, I'm very cautious about you know okay, what does the environment look like? Are there are there multiple shooters at the range? Is this a one on one? What's the distance between us and the target? All these different things, right? So you go to this concert, right, and the city of Houston and all their safety, they, they blast off on it. Hey, Wally, PK, man, y'all go ahead. Y'all let y'all babies run wild, right? Go watch the compass perform. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then one of the babies gets hurt, injured, or killed. You know what I mean? Now it's all, oh, okay, well, no disrespect to those families who lost their loved ones, right? But you have to, you got to look at it for right. uh, the decision makers, man. He decided but, to take his child. Was he wrong? That's a subjective opinion. You know what I mean? I, I, I can't say he's wrong for doing it uh, because maybe that's, you know, <laughs> that's how he felt. You know right, I mean? so, so um, case in point with that, like we know, we know what's going on with Victoria in the wrestling thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the event of that opportunity presenting itself, it's gonna happen. Yep. But that is a more controlled setting of chairs, rails. It's not in an open football field and it's 5,000 people standing there, bouncing around, jumping around, rough shoulders, picking pockets, whatever else is going on in the crowd, fights. You know what I'm saying? It's a more controlled environment yeah. opposed to having a concert at a football stadium. Yeah. So so two it, things. It, yeah. Go, go ahead, Wally. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. That that, that was well, all I was doing. Well, in. Kayla, because I think Kayla, we, we kind of said the same thing. She said, no, he shouldn't have been there, but the fact that he died isn't Travis' fault to me. That's on the parent. Got you. And Janice said, nine-year-old or not, what happened didn't fall on Travis. If it was Taylor Swift, they would have sued the venue, not the artist. That part. So the, the two parts to that. We didn't yeah. even get, go ahead. My bad. I was about to say, yeah. it's two parts to that. So yeah, it's, we, we're not saying it, 
Well, they are trying to sue Travis Scott. That's where the lawsuits have been hitting. Multiple. Um, yeah, multiple. Yeah. Again, Tim, like I said, yeah, he ain't the one out there, you know, security, the patrolman, all that kind of stuff. I, I totally get that part. Yeah, that's not what we're saying. We, we're back to the root of, as the parent, maybe that's not what we need to do. Maybe when you're a little older, son, or daughter, or something like that, and then we wouldn't even be in that situation. Because right. now dad's at home traumatized because you lost your kid. You know what I mean? But we shouldn't have even been there. But there's inherent risk every time you walk out the door. Okay, I get that part too. But Janet, I think Janet's part, maybe I'm reading too deep into it, is we suing Travis. But if it was, you know, like a Taylor suit, like you said, we'd be suing Ticketmaster or this, that, another. Is that a. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I looked up, you know, I looked up. Uh, it's up to $750 million worth of suits, ain't it? It is, bro. It is. So I was looking at different events throughout the years, different venues, you know, where um, people got stampeded and, you know, uh, yeah, I, this is the first time I've ever seen an artist. Uh, Get the law, the lawsuit is dropped on me. That should be on the city I'm, of Houston I'm or something. Artist, man. You know, yeah. Um, I was reading the CNN report, you know what I mean? And basically the, the attorneys, um, there's a few defense attorneys and a lot of like city officials are like, hey, you know, what about, uh, I'm trying to figure out the, the correct words, man. Uh, the, organ, the festival organizers, risk protectors, and security personnel failed to protect those thousands of concert goers. Mm -hmm. so, um, I mean, you know, not to, not to digress about tour, you know, Travis versus the city of, of Houston, you know, yeah, that's yeah. Like, you know, to your to your point, PK, that's like uh, me letting your me hopping in the Ram in the Dodge in the truck with Uriah when he's nine and just hey, let's let's hop on the on the highway, man, at five o'clock p.m. You know, let's you know what I mean? Who, who's to blame? You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, man said, y'all think if Beyonce having a concert, she don't know everything about the venue setup, etc." Oh, Oh, uh, oh, of course, man. Top to bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, top to bottom. They said yeah. Michael Jackson was a freak when it came to that, man. Yep. Yeah. And you then know? you see them joints back in Germany, they just pass them to the back, lay them down back there, you know what I'm Yeah, saying? man. That's what they used to do. All the like, British dudes. My we going to keep, we gonna keep going, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They yeah, have yeah, to serve them and take them to the side. Just, yeah, you know, take them to the side, you know. That is, that is well, facts. That is facts, I, man. I, I, do, I, do, I do sort of, I do feel like uh, like they, you know, they pointing, you know, they pointing the wrong fingers at, at uh, they pointing the fingers the wrong way. Mm -hmm. uh, so Nike basically they pushed back the release of his Air Max. They pushed it back. They ain't do nothing else. They still right. They, right. So they, they oh, we still gonna drop them. We just gonna get them after Black Friday. And y'all still we gonna get pro. So I'm, I'm arguing. You know, I'm so I'm, I'm talking to these other sneakerheads. You know, wherever they at in the internet world, man. They oh yeah, they they deserve <laughs> to get pushed back. You know, and I'm like, why, bro? You know, I copped them at this price, man. Since that event, man. Since the event, these is actual numbers, right? They have increased approximately three hundred and forty-two percent. I can believe five it. day, right? Who won? Those families or Nike? <laughs> we can, can yeah, you. just yeah, we gonna hold off, right? So sure <laughs> for you, so sure for you, Compass. What I was saying is, uh, when we talked about this and you asked about it, I said I, I said don't do the video because. It's going, it's going to take away from the product. Okay, like that is that's that's why that's what it came to for me. So it wasn't yeah. because of the deaths. It was you know what man, it, it no longer it didn't hold. It lost its value to me. I'm not impressed. You know? with, I'm not impressed with the kicks, but the setup and the presentation of which you piece everything together, the simple fact of what's going on and those being his shoes right now. Ain't nobody going to pay attention to that. It's going to be, oh, so you're supporting him because you're wearing his sneakers. And right. they're not going to be looking at the Oxford underwear or the Chino socks or the, yep. the Kango white beater. They're not looking at none of that. 
Like yep. they don't, they're yep. not going to care about none of that because you're aiding and abetting. Let's not throw that out there. You're aiding and abetting a criminal. Allegedly. 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 A criminal. So, yeah. so the man I, said, yeah. so he holds some accountability in what took place. It's not his fault that the people did what they did, but the setup wasn't correct for the amount of people in the time that they were, that we're living in. Just, just my opinion is what man said. Sorry it happened to yeah. him, but he could have said something if he had concerns about the setup. Right. And I, I agree with that. So this is my thing. I mean, you know, when, when Tampa, when the Bucks are in town and stuff like that, you got a certain amount of security, police force, detail, whatever, how, what can the stage hold, you know what I'm saying? So if you got 30,000 at the venue and you know you need 200 cops, make sure you, you know what I'm saying? A hundred, you got a hundred, if there's supposed to be different barricades, you know, I'll, it, it could go on now. My thing is, it, yeah, there he gets a percentage of the blame, not a big piece. It falls on a whole lot of other people that should have taken care of that as well. So, you know, Travis Scott, we had to pull him in there because of the music and all that kind of stuff. Fellas, we, we good? Yeah, and Lil Sis, man, she said one of her tracks was sick almost. So that was the segue 30 minutes. Sick, sick of. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh that was the God, segue. Man. When I like chopped it for YouTube, it's going gonna, it's gonna to say, oh, Kayla said sicko mode, and we're going to dive right into this. Let's go right into it, Astro. Yeah, so today is uh, Guinness World Record Day. So I ask you fellas, man, what, what would you get a world record for? You know, if you was going for a world record, what would you, uh, would it be in Guinness Book of World Records Day? Nothing? <clears throat> Hating? Nothing? I thought I worked hard on that one. I thought y'all was going to have some. It's also, well, since y'all just played me out, it's also National Unfriend Day. So guess who won't be on next week with you jokers? I'm unfriending y'all. You on mute, Wally. That's where you uh, need to stay. Uh, oh, I can, man. I about that. I National Unfriend Day today. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you got some people in your life that that's friend of Jason? It ain't nothing that kind of, you know <laughs> So, I should have made a I should have made an album with that title. Man. You just, should have, man. Insane. So uh that's also World Prematurity Day. Shout out to you know the preemies that that's here with us, man, that, that made and everything. The wife is actually was actually born premature. And I gotta shout her out because tomorrow I'm gonna take off so I can hang out with the queen. She's gonna put another year on the earth strong, another rotation around the sun, moon, stars, galaxy, and all of that good stuff. So we're going to hang out and have a good time. She's been watching the weather, worry about the rain and all that kind of stuff. It ain't going to matter, man. We still going to get out there and have a good old time. So big, big shout out to the world prematurity uh, day today. Her voice note. Can you send her a voice note? Janet, can you send her? In one, in one, of, in one of her favorite tones. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm going to get ready to do the business shout outs. Episode 29, Jenna answered, yeah, man, y'all going to go live before uh, Thanksgiving, the day before Thanksgiving? Absolutely. Because you ain't going to do nothing. you washing them grains and cleaning them chitlins and stuff anyway. So y'all might as well house. come on back and kick it with BFA on Wednesday while them greens soaking or them garbanzo beans and soaking. Y'all going <laughs> to kick it with us. So what are we calling that? We just going to say be thankful? Get on here and chop it up. Traditions, holidays, must have. This or that Thanksgiving meals, what you gotta have to eat on that particular day, you know, all that kind of stuff. We may even get into why me and Jenny don't really recognize the Thanksgiving, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But uh, I'll take the days off for it and everything like that. And how they, what's the best thing you ever scooped on like Black Friday or something? Did you do the Black Friday, the whole thing like that? So you say you don't Texas? recognize it. You don't recognize it from a holiday standpoint or- It's not to be celebrated the way they celebrate. We came over here and we broke bread and all that kind of. Right. Stuff. Okay, so what if we, what if we just what if we we don't need it but we, that's we another CRT cook thing. on that day? Is that celebrating? Huh? If we cook, like if you know, big the big meals and yeah, you still gotta eat. Right. Yeah. We normally we get dressed. You know what I mean? And we yeah, uh, that's what we do on things. I don't know if that is that yeah. celebrating. I mean, not really. Well, I, yeah, I guess. So, but you got. I guess. Eat. I guess it would be if if because it's what on I'm that day. Is, we don't do that like randomly. What you I'm know? saying is y'all ain't sitting down and telling the pilgrimage story, you know, that kind of, that's what I'm getting at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. You know okay. Okay. So it's yeah, like, oh, yeah. happy, happy Thanksgiving. Was it though? I mean, it is for you now, but was it? Was, you know? you gotta <laughs> that's do, what you I'm going to do. The formal passive aggressive happy fans. You gotta there do you that. go. The hop, happy <laughs> holidays. So it encompasses the whole, the whole thing, man. 
around this time. So episode episode twenty nine. Yes, we are going live next Wednesday, uh, seven fifteen p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be right back here with you. We're gonna mash that one up. We're gonna have some fun with that one for real. I keep on saying, man, somebody want to jump on with us, let us know, hit us up, text me, we'll put you on, let you know what we're going to talk about. You know, we can yeah. have a guest on. We ain't had one on in a little while. Uh, what are we going back to? It's us last two episodes. That, we had Starting Five. We had Shell, and we had Starting Five. So, you know, somebody want to jump on with us, let me know, and we can get you, we can work you into it. We might have Shell back on. It's still her holiday season, you know. Have her on, and we'll go with that. So, yeah, we have Le Marie on, you know. McDowell's gonna be closed Thanksgiving. Bring it, bring it to the, bring it to the forefront. Bring it to, <laughs> bring it to the forefront. You know? but, yeah, yeah Le Marie McDowell, man. So oh. the, the business shout outs, man. I'm still pushing these. The good day, and the these hugs are my hugs. Actually, you need to read, bro. So before I even get into the Janet drops the links. Y'all know the Etsy <laughs> shop was closed while she was sitting to some business. That'll be back open. I'm going to have that beard oil for the fellas. That's going to be going for the low. Get you scooped up. We get it mailed out to you. We got the Etsy shop. We got Melissa's Etsy shop. We got the Amazon books going. These are hugs and my hugs. Good day. We got Nick's bookshelf. We got Jaden's book on there. And everything you got there, Culture College Counseling, Chase and Charlie, AKs and Tech, Seabrook Custom Creations. Kayla's got the style seat. She get the lashes done for you. We still got time to hit Katrina Coles, that wine shop at home, man. We can get the wine parents together for you. We got Link Tree with Cherry Galore. Miss Kamisha Mann's on there, working on her podcast and stuff like that. Queen of Thrones. I mean, I got everything listed on there for y'all to check us out. YouTube channel, of course. Compass channel. The Undisputed Champs channel. BFA channel. She Gathers Wellness. We'll have this streaming on your Anchor, your Apple Podcast, your Spotify, your Google Podcast. Player FM, Radio Public, all of that good stuff, man, in the morning. But before we get out of here, I want to talk to these two guys. They're going to take us out of, out of here because we got Reed Bro still going on and we yeah. still got Joyful Elf, man. Well, they yeah. send us something, you know, just putting it out there. We a month away from the day, Mark. So we'll start with, uh, we started with Reed Bro last time. So Joyful Elf, Mr. Wally, tell me what's going on. That concludes business shout out. So we're going to end after we get through talking to the guy. What's uh, Joyful Elf going on? I saw the release video. Okay, I clicked it. I get it. You said, you know, I got something up my sleeve. This act three. What can I do to help? If I want to be a part, I want to contribute. I know you don't, you ain't asking for the handout, but if I want to do something for you, what is it? And how can I help out? So basically, act three, Friday, December 17th, we are doing the Christmas Village for the Joyful L Foundation. The main purpose is to create the, um, virtual experience of trying to just spread that holiday joy but we also want to emphasize that you can enjoy christmas through the gift of actually giving and it ain't always got to be about santa mm -hmm. so that's the whole point of the name being joyful l foundation because i use that to say that we the parents are the elves <clears throat> anyway that really do all the hard work to make it be what it is for the kids. So you went mute on me. Muted. My bad, my bad. That's why I, I kind of go along the lines of um like I use the Wally Claus thing, like, yeah, that's cool. But if you look at it, there's no like remnants of Santa anywhere in the production or the thumbnails that I have. You have um the logo in which I got inspiration from both kids of mine so you see the the big sister and the little brother in there and that logo was actually made three years ago before we were even aware that we were having that second child and it was going to be a boy on top of that too so um just the inspiration of that is the main focus of what I want everybody to understand is that we can make things fun for the kids without going along the lines of what they want it to be correct you know so if i want to if i want to send a little something i know you still had a list a couple of things you needed did i yeah. hit you up or like what, what, how, how do i get yeah. that to you yeah just hit me up um anybody interested and we can go from there i got a couple of different things that are still left on the list to get the abundance has been coming in of just everything from what I checked off myself and then 
you know, full court pressing it. Everybody's kind of showing love with that. And, and that's only been within the last like week or so. But it's it's, yeah, it's been kind of jumping since November 1st. Yep. And I you think I'm gonna keep sharing that thing. I'm gonna have it in their face. Yeah. And and that's and that's the most appreciative thing for me is to see the outreach coming from y'all and just other people that want to get on board that I've been telling no for so long. Like, <laughs> right. I'm good, I'm good. You know, like even people in the street, like, yo, when you doing the thing, when you doing the elf joint, they don't know yeah. what it's called. They just saw right. it, want to help. Yeah. Right. Um, so that's, it's that's like the it's $20 in your hand, brother. Just do something with it. You know what I'm saying? I'll do keep doing what you're doing, yeah. brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if it's some, if it's a different way that people want to make that contribution, just hit me up and I got the link you know, to the list of things. I don't have just one registry because I have so many different resources that I use to get everything to me. So whether it's right. an, whether you want to send something directly to me, we can work on that or, you know, we can work that out whenever the time comes. So yeah, uh, we a month out, man. Act three is going to be crazy. Like a I said. A month out, man. Joyful Elf Foundation. I got these books I'm reading, bro. I'm reading with the bros. Re read them to the bros. Bros out here reading. Read them to the babies. You guys see, yeah, read them to the baby. So L-O-N is out here doing it. So what <sighs> is this read, bro? I keep sharing and telling people about and all this kind of, what's up with that? Read, bro, man. It's a it's a free reading clinic, a campaign. Um, it's free. It's free, man. It's free. Zero dollars. Zero, man. We, you know, basically, uh, Dana was like, hey, we need to, uh, we need to uh, improve our babies, uh, they're learning, they're, they're uh, reading comprehension, man. And, uh, and she said this back in the day before we did it on a bigger scale, we were just doing, uh, um, uh, I, I forgot the name of the platform. We were just doing it here in the house, you know. Mm. I had five or six uh, nephews, cousins, Talking about the Black Boys Read? Black Boys Read, Black yeah. Thanks, read. Mom. Black Boys Read. Um, yeah, you know, uh, and it, it just turned into, uh, I had an idea for a shirt. You know, we was over here uh, spitballing ideas, man. I was like, do you even read, bro? <laughs> man, she ran with it, man. You know, yeah, she ran with it, you know, and I'm gone. <laughs> that's a, I wish. I wish I had the, I'll have it next time, man. She's got like this nice little slogan. I was coming in off the highway. I walked into the venue, man, and she had them recite it, you know, and it, but it ends with read, bro. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was so dope, man. 30 plus kids. Um, and they, they work, they learn in sign language. Um, you know, they work in enunciation drills, mm -hmm. enunciate, all kind of stuff, you know, um, and it's been a real blessing just to kind of really watch her work. You know what I mean? Watch her do her thing, man. And all I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to do the, the, the program management thing by answering emails. Yeah. You know I mean? PMO. <laughs> let PMO, her go. Man. Yo, <laughs> let her go. Man. Um, but uh, another thing, man, outside of Reed, bro, man, I don't know if, well, we had, she had some issues sharing the video, man. Her third book, and holiday game night, man, is on its way. Ooh, we oh, I saw the man. picture, I saw the illustration. I shared yeah, it. I was bro. like, that's gonna be fire. Man, so we gotta so we gotta reference that episode because we had her on episode four. Do you even yeah. read, bro? Start to share that because she gave them a little excerpt so they can get a little a little snippet of that. They want to go back yeah. and check that joy out because yeah, she gave us a nice little piece of that. Oh, I love no. it. Is that available? No, not not yet. Right? So okay. it's December. It, okay. yeah, it'll be December. We're, we're hoping and praying, man. Um you know, that first week, you know, uh, but it falls along those lines, you know, with the joyful elf, uh, I guess that, that same uh, belief system is, there's no Santa, you know, basically it's how we really get down, man, by games, you know, on Christmas Eve, man, mm -hmm. bro, it'd be lit, you know, so it's, <laughs> that's, that's basically get real stuff. competitive up in this one. Yeah, man, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah, it's, playing it's Uno funny. for your life. <laughs> yeah, man. For your bed. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. You beat me, oh. you gotta get the hell out. 
All good, man. So we appreciate 3FA, man. We appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with us, listening, vibing. Hope y'all like the music episode. We'll be back next week right in y'all face, man. Peace and love from the Compass and Wally and the moderator. Oh, you have. <laughs> y'all have a good night. <laughs>